Hey viewers, welcome to episode 7 of my MATLAB programming series. This is uh, about the while loop, which is, well, uh, not at all used loop at all. But I wanted to teach it to you anyway. Uh, the while loop, well, I only have one example. There are so li little um, circumstances in which you would actually want to use this that I only came up with one example and we're going to look at this uh, right now. So first of all, we're going to have to create a situation where it might be useful to do it. Then we're going to discuss the while loop. Then we're going to discuss how you should have done it if you don't want to know to use the while loop. Anyway, a while loop is basically a for loop without an end. So it runs until you say that it has to stop. So we're going to create here a um, vector of a random size with uh, random elements. So basically everything is random. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the maximum of the vector and we're going to try to find it. So to find the entry that has the maximum value. Those are the kinds of situations where, well, you might need a while loop. I've used them like twice in my entire <laughs> career. And that is not a lot, I can tell you that. So basically how you set it up is um, you say while and then you make a statement of when the loop should exit. And basically you can do it within the loop whatever you do you want. At, at some point, however, you do need to trigger the, uh, well, the, 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 in this case, found has to be true at some point or non-false at least. So you have to trigger the, the end because otherwise it's going to go for an infinite amount of times. And that is also why it's a risky thing to do because if you program this incorrectly, it is going to run for, well, ever. And you have to break out of it or, well, kind of, yeah, it, it's just no good. It, it's not used a lot and I just wanted you to know that it is a, a loop that's available. It's just not a loop that's, uh, that's used a whole lot. So if we run through this, um, yeah, as I said, it's going to find the maximum, uh, the maximum of the vector and then it's going to be, uh, say found is true because he found it. And then it's going to exit because, well, the while, uh, well, the, the statement behind while uh, becomes false. So it just skips over it and it breaks out of the loop. And in this case, we're going to see that, um, yeah, the maximum value is 86, found at place 24 out of a total of 27. And as we will be able to see from a vector, uh, these are the, the values. So the maximum number is indeed 86, which is all the way in the bottom there. And that is indeed place number 24 out of 27. So yeah, it, it does what it needs to do. But how should you program this in a real situation. So normally you would go about this in, with a for loop. Um, first of all, we're going to find the maximum value, which is the length of the vector, because you want to run it from place one to, in this case, 27, so the maximum number. And to do that, as you can see, you just find the maximum or the, the length of the vector and that is going to be max loop number and you're going to put that in as the maximum loop number. So it's going to run from one with the step of one to the maximum which is 27 in this case. And then you say if it is the max vector either you store the value or you hit break. Break uh, cancels the for loop you're in or uh, I believe a while loop also gets cancelled. An if loop obviously doesn't, but um, yeah, break basically breaks the, the cycle. So any loop that you're in, so an actual loop, an if is not an actual loop, um, but a for loop or a while loop, it will break it. It will just go from here immediately to end. So it will not go anywhere else. It just skips everything else. Then um, if we see this, then we're going to see that, um, let's run, it's going to result, uh, get the same result. So the maximum value is 86, 
placed 24 out of 27. So just for the fun of it, I wanted to show you how to actually find the maximum number in a vector or a matrix, it's the same deal. Um, basically you do it like this, you make a variable and this is your statement that you want to use. So if you want to see the help file, do help find. Um, you say when is my vector equal to the maximum vector, uh, so the maximum value of the vector. And this is the amount of results that you want to have in maximum. If you don't state this, it's going to give all the results. But since I wanted to state, well, which Max, which place it is. If I have two, I cannot do it like this with the f print f, and yeah, it becomes messy basically. So what we're doing is in one step, it's going to just find where where that is at place number twenty four, and since I knew all of the rest, I can say the maximum value of eighty six is found at place twenty four out of a total of twenty seven values. So for this. A uh, particular thing because I'm trying to find a maximum value or a minimum value or a certain value. Uh, whatever you want to find, uh, values smaller or bigger than whatever, uh, you can do it with find. And it is a really easy tool. So check that out if you want to ever do that. And for the rest, yeah, as I said, the, the, the well a loop is just not used a whole lot. But as you will see, uh, yeah, I get different values every time because the length of the vector uh, well varies the uh, the the, the, the oh, sorry that's here the elements of the vectors vary but all in all yeah it just does the same thing over and over and over and over for each of the values that are that that you put in so this statement the while loop does the same as this for loop and in this case because I'm trying to find the maximum value or, well, just one value. Uh, find does exactly the same thing. So, anyway, that's all there is to know about the while loop. As I said, don't use it unless you have to, and there aren't a lot of situations where you have to. So, um, yeah, that's it. Hope you le learned something today, and I will see you next time.